In the first video in this series, we trace the Cannonball Run from its outlaw roots all the way to modern EV records. And now it's time to reveal the car we're taking coast to coast. This is the 2025 Tesla Model 3 Long Range. Not the flashiest Tesla, not the fastest, but maybe, just maybe, the perfect Cannonball car. We had to think about the pros and cons of each car we were considering for our record attempt. We chose the Tesla Model 3, thinking it would give us a good chance to beat the 39 hours and 29 minute record set by Kyle Connor in 2024. Let's take a look at the case for and against. Number one, range. The Tesla Model 3 has an EPA estimated range of 357 miles. Compare that to the Porsche, which has a range around 246 miles on a full charge. The Tesla's longer legs means the possibility of fewer stops along the way. Connor made a total of 19 stops during their record run. We will need to do less than that. Number two, supercharging. The ability to use Tesla's network of superchargers is a massive advantage. Plus, we have another charging advantage we will mention in a moment. Number three, efficiency. The Model 3 comes in more than one trim level, rear wheel drive and all wheel drive. This one is the rear wheel drive version. This drivetrain is more efficient. More efficiency means more range. Number four, charging. We can utilize other electric vehicle charging networks. The Porsche didn't have access to the Tesla supercharger infrastructure, so they couldn't take advantage of an invaluable number of extra charging options. But we will have access to both the Tesla superchargers as well as Electrify America Level 3 350 kilowatt chargers. This cannonball isn't as much about top speed as a full out gas powered run, it's about time saved. And that comes from fewer stops, faster charging, and smarter efficiency. Now let's consider some of the negatives. Number one, this car is not a performance trim level, that means no insane acceleration. Number two, battery taper. Charging slows at higher states of charge. Or, stated differently, the more full the battery, the slower it charges. The Porsche has a charge curve that tapers off at a much higher state of charge. It can hold over 300 kilowatts of charging for a good amount of time. The Tesla charges at a much lower rate, with a theoretical maximum of 250 kilowatts. And the Tesla charge curve tapers quickly, slowing the rate of charge much earlier than the Porsche. We weighed the percentage of charge against the range from that charge and felt like the Tesla's added range helped mitigate the Porsche charging rate advantage. Also, remember, they only used Electrify America charging stations. We have access to both Electrify America and Tesla's network of superchargers. Because of that, we shouldn't need to charge at any charger that isn't a newer, faster generation of charger. Number three competition. The Porsche 2024 record will be tough to beat. Faster charging curve, higher top speed. But again, breakneck speed isn't the full answer. Speed helps move you along faster, but battery capacity shrinks faster with higher speeds. On paper, the Tesla Model 3 may not the obvious choice, but Cannonball records aren't set on paper, they're one on the road. So this is the car we have chosen. But since we want to beat the Cannonball Run electric vehicle record time of 39 hours and 29 minutes, we're going to make a few modifications to this Tesla. You can see those modifications in this video right here. 